HR and Payroll 2.0. I'm Pete Tiliakis, and as always, I'm joined by the legendary Julie Fernandez. Welcome, Julie. Thanks, Pete. Hey, uh, we this is a special meeting for us. You kind of called uh, called arms here, and we have some cool topics to talk about. I can't yeah. wait to uh, to share something special here with our listeners. Yes, yes. My passion project has uh, finally come to life. Um, my payroll profession confidence survey is out. Um, you know a lot about it. I know you've seen sneak peeks of it. You've helped me do some input to it. And um, yeah, I just want to share. I want I want people to know how this came about, what it's about, why it's important, and and just see what we can do to get more eyes on it um, around the world. Because we're, we're doing really well, but we need to get everyone's voice heard. Yeah. So you know what? It's awesome to be talking about it. And, it, and it's also a little strange at the same time, because I know it's something you've been working on forever, right? And, yeah. uh, and, and it's finally here. And so we'll be talking, I think, about some things that that we've been bouncing around together for quite some time. And in fact, even some elements that we've, we've done podcast topics about and, and incorporated in other ways. But um, why don't you start by just sharing, you know, how you got to this passion project and what it is that makes you so passionate about it. Yeah, absolutely. So look, for, you're right. We, this, this show has absolutely uh, influenced and inspired some of what I did uh, in this survey, right? You're, 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 we're going to get to that, I think, a little bit as we talk about it. But yeah, look, so one of the things that I think we have failed to do for payroll professionals in, in the marketplace is truly listen to them. We tend to create surveys, and I'm, and I'm guilty of it. I've, I've helped vendors shape these. I've helped the, the payroll org shape these, these very lead generation slanted surveys that are mostly about understanding the, the operational nuances of payroll, right? How many people are you paying? Um, you know, who do you report to, whether it's HR, finance, or somewhere else? Um, you know, how, how many, how many uh, FTEs do you have paying those people? All of the operational sort of benchmarks and what do you have? What can we sell you kind of slant? And that's all valuable, right? For various different reasons. Um, Deloitte does a great survey on that every, what, every couple of years. Um, I know you've done some, some good stuff over the years and there's many, many that are out there that are fantastic, but what I think most of them fail to do is take the pulse of the profession from a sentiment perspective. And, and, and fundamentally that's what this is based in, right? This is all about how are you doing? How are you feeling? Why do you feel that way? Um, what can we do to make you feel better about what you're doing in your future? And how can we really help you? Is it, is it another piece of technology? Is it AI? Is it, is it, what is it, right? Is it resources? Is it education? And so I want to go beyond the normal, again, what do you have? What can we sell you? And get down to that, to that sentiment-based analysis and really start to peel back the onion, if you will, on what's really going on for the payroll practitioner. But at the same time, understand how they can be more successful, not just personally, professionally as a profession, but in their organizations and bring more value and impact to their businesses and, uh, and drive better outcomes. And so that's, that's the whole purpose of this. I think that's awesome. And I can't wait to see what sorts of responses you get to this. I, I do wonder, you know, so we're talking about sentiment and really you're focusing in on whose sentiment, right? And and then also how are the other parties, you know, how is their sentiment or their confidence reflected in what you're doing? That's a great, that's a great point. I would love, I would love if we could interview C-suite uh, folks and 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 get to get to that as well uh, from the other side of the coin, because I think that there is, uh, I've got a lot of hypotheses about that, but, but what we're doing with this is really starting this as a baseline, right? We're, we're going out and taking the pulse of payroll. And if that, I think that that may be something that we find that we need to go dig into some other areas of the organization and, and gain their perspective for how payroll could be more effective for them. Um, above and beyond what payroll already does, which is going above and beyond, a, as most of us know. Um, and in this survey, one of the things we do do is talk about their relationships. We ask about the health of their relationships with broader organization around HR and finance and legal. That's one area I know you and I were kind of talking before we, we, we started recording about. I love your perspective on because I think you are, as a consultant out there helping companies transform, you're probably talking to a lot of these this, this audience that often has to influence payroll's future, you know, or otherwise, you know, their, their existence at all in, in, in the organization and how that gets invested and funded um, and how they're, how they're viewed and cared for. Right. So uh, yeah, I'd love to, I'm love, I'm anxious to learn that and see where is payroll getting the best champions and partners um, and what, what, what do we need to do to help, help get that going better, right. Where we can, they can be a, a ch have champions in every part of the organization. Yeah, you know, that's so key because, you know, there, I'm sure we'll find there's lots of sentiment out there, 
But uh, some of that is actually likely because of um, constraints in being able to accomplish things or achieve things, whether it's budgetary or resources or, um, you know, um, vision or cultural support, right? So um, so I, th- I think we'll see that reflected. You know, you're going to get some insights, some really cool insights into that yeah. um, reflected in the results. You know, you mentioned, um, you mentioned something about uh, the survey that I, I want to point out that maybe most people might not really realize how these things are how the sausage is is made right on the back end but um but i think it's it's really neat and people should understand that this survey is not a survey survey that's sponsored or monetized right and you know that that that's a world you're super familiar with you live in all the time and and it's really about bringing insights broad based insights to the community by the community for the community right as opposed to uh, as opposed to the way that these things usually happen. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, no, look, this this is something that I've been working on now for probably about 18 months. Um, I've put a lot of thought into this. I've written this from my heart as a practitioner, as a consultant, as an analyst who studied this and advises most of these, the, the modern solutions that are out there. And, and so this is written by practitioners for practitioners, for payroll leaders, right? For all stakeholders of payroll, really. We, we, we've designed this survey to, to, to gather the feedback from not just the frontline payroll professional, but the, but the leader, the shared services leader, anyone who is sort of owning payroll, if you will, or has a, has a major stake in that. So we want their perspectives. And um, yeah, th- this is, this is coming. We've come at this from the, the, the payroll point of view, by, by you, for you. And we have incorporated the, the opinions of many thought leaders like yourself, Anita Latink, our good friend of the show. We involve Stacey Harris, Steve Goldberg. We reached out to the payroll org and we had input from, from Linda Overton and, and her team there. She's the president of the payroll org and, and a few of their senior leaders uh, weighed in as well as a group as well as Nathan North, who you know. And so we, we took a lot of feedback on that and we, and we worked very hard to, to shape this, again, by payroll, for payroll. The other thing is, yes, 100%, this is non-monetized. This is a, this is a, um, a contribution of, of, my, of my free time. Labor of love. It is. It is. It's hundred percent that I, I feel called to do this. I know that may seem, I don't know, biblical or whatever. I don't know if, if I'm not a very religious person, but I, but I do, I feel called to do this. And I feel like somebody needs to um, shine a light on what's really going on in payroll because there's still a lot of ignorance. And I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I think in the C-suite and even in HR for what really goes on in payroll the power of what they control and the power of how they can impact or you know make or break maybe executing on a strategy from a compliance perspective and a risk management perspective that is that is far undervalued um, and then you think about what they're what they're curating right the data that they're curating and the insights and the information that they have the fact that they're not being engaged on a more proactive basis to drive better business outcomes is what we're really hoping to do here but but bottom line yes there is no monetization to this. We are not. We are not profiting from this. We are sharing this to the fullest extent. Um, we have. We have. Um, we have made it so that we can have every payroll organization around the world, and so many of them have gotten involved, from Australia to Europe to to the payroll org, the GPA. They're all trying to help out, and we're trying to get this in the hands of, of everyone we can. We're giving the results to all of them. Uh, absolutely complimentary. Uh, and we will unveil this, obviously, in, in May at the Payroll Orgs um, Congress, but we are willing to share it with anyone and everyone, and we're trying our best to uh, – and, and the lovely thing is we've got vendors stepping in to help us uh, put it into their client communities. Payslip has helped us. Niamo has helped us. Safeguard's getting on board. We've got others coming on board every day. So, yeah, this is non-monetized. This is unsponsored. And the best part about this, Julie, is this is completely anonymous. This was one of the things that the feedbacks that were given to me is that will payroll practitioners and leaders want to really be honest if they believe that their employer could find out what they might have thought of payroll or said or whatever, right? Um, And that was really important to me. So we've made this 100% anonymous. The only reason you are asked to give your first name and your email is purely if you want to be notified when this or any of the other research that we produce comes out but no one will will be triangulating anyone's anyone's input. You don't have to give your name. You don't have to give your email. Um, and all we ask for you to do is just give us your voice and let us go be a voice for you. And so that's the that's the goal here. And that's why no monetization. Yeah, that's awesome. 
You know, I, the other thing that I think is really cool is people who are following some of the thought leaders and some of the things that are showing up on our podcast with guests are, uh, uh recognize, will recognize the, um, the great interest in, uh, having a seat at the table or bringing up, you know, a higher calling for payroll. And so it just makes me think like, what are you, what is it that you're hoping to learn through this survey? And, you know, I, I'm sure that, that our conversations about a seat at the table have influenced you as you've, as you, as you've tried this path. Right. But, uh, what do you think you're going to learn? Yeah, that, that's a, that's an outstanding question. And I, and I'll be honest with you. I think the answer to that is, is as a, as a good researcher, I'm going into this with a completely open mind saying, I don't know what I expect to learn, to be honest. I suspect that we're going to hear payroll is undervalued and that payroll is not driving the value they can. I believe that's what we'll hear. Um, I hope I don't hear that, but I think that what we will, what, what look, no matter what, what comes out of this, right? If, if everything in payroll is rosy and perfect and, and we're all wrong about what we, about the idea that I think payroll is still largely treated as less than, um, even if I'm wrong about all that, which I hope, um, what, no matter what we, what comes out of this, I just want to be able to shine a light where I don't know that the light is being shined. And so in other words, I just want to tell the story for the community. Um, because listen, I, I have the ear of, of the payroll, payroll world. They listen to me, they follow me, they connect with me. I, I, I write content they're all engaged in. Um, and I have the, the voice, the, the ear, um, of, of the vendors making the solutions in the marketplace. And, and that's fantastic because I'm able to bridge those two together in my work and I'm able to influence how on behalf of the practitioner out there, how, how these modern solutions should be designed to help them and marketed to them and, and marketed to their leaders. But what I think most important that we, what, that we need to come away with is we need to be able to come away with data to back up a narrative that says payroll needs to be more important. Payroll can create more value. And why aren't you tapping that strategic um, partner, right? And that that's what I want. And that, so I really, I think what I'm hoping to do this personally, what I think we, we we should ultimately land on is is some hard data that we can get in front of senior leaders in organizations and say, payroll has to become more important. And here's what you don't know about it. Or maybe this is what you do know about it. Um, and here's what could happen if you, if you could, if you could embrace that. So that's what I hope to do is just amplify the voice collectively for the, or for the whole community of, pre, of, of payroll owners and stakeholders around the world and, and shine a light on what they're, what they're saying. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. call to arms, all you who are yeah. out there, you know, like following what happens in payroll and in HR, um, you know, the whole idea is the more voices and, you know, in some sort of collective findings, um, the better, the better for everyone. Right. Yeah. And this is a baseline year where we're, we understand this survey was a little longer than my style. I'd love it to be a little slimmer, but we really needed to lay down a good foundation. That's why we need participation from around the world, from every continent, from every country, from every planet, as I've been saying, uh, wherever you're paying someone, we want to hear from you. Um, and yeah, we need to be able to show like, and I want to correlate big company, small company, this country, that country. And we want to be able to show what's really going on in payroll, uh, whether that's positive, negative and where, where we can help. And, and again, when I say baseline, this survey will evolve um, year over year. We want to create an index out of that. Uh Oh, my alarm's going off. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't suppress my phone there. Um, my dog needs meds at this hour. That's why the barking. But um, the, the point here is, is we want to we want to create a baseline that then says, where do we need to go and focus? Right. And year over year, we want to be able to shift that focus accordingly and report on that through this index that we hope will become a stalwart in the industry for what's re the, the pulse of what's really going on in the payroll profession. Because, Julie, one of the things that I, I know, you know, and I know and I'm sure you see this with your clients, we're losing we are losing talent very quickly out of payroll. And there's many factors to that, but we need to preserve that. And we need to make sure people, these people, these very skilled practitioners that frankly turn the world economy um, are appreciated and that they are going to be appreciated and more than valued in the future of, of work. And we need them to be, to be a part of that. And so I, I hope we're preserving the, the profession, if nothing else. 
Yeah, for sure. Hey, so so should we talk a little bit of logistics? Because I yeah. I'm pretty sure the survey's up and live now, right? It is. It is. And if you can't if you haven't seen my face selling it all over the internet, well, <laughs> then you're not looking, right? No. But um yeah, really look, go go out there. You can go to my LinkedIn. I'm gonna put it in the in the description. You can find it on my Twitter. I know you're gonna share it or have shared it, Julie. Absolutely. Uh HR and payroll channels are sharing it, 360 insights are sharing it, many vendors around the community are sharing it. Um, and we have many, many thought leaders. So find that uh, and get engaged with it and know that it's running. It's going to run from now until about March 22nd. It um, okay, gives excellent. you plenty of time, takes you 10, maybe 15 minutes at the very most. The only ask is the challenge is take it and put and share it. Take take it and make sure someone else takes it. Uh, and I think if we all do that, we'll create our own little payroll, p- payroll pyramid <laughs> scheme. And pyramid we can, scheme. Yeah, we can, get, we can get the voices in. But, but really, I, I think... I think it's all about helping me help you, right? Just just get your peers and yourselves to concentrate your time on this. And I promise you, people are listening. There are so many executives across vendors, across um, organizations I've talked to, just anyone that I've talked to about this are, are absolutely intrigued to be a part of it. And I'll tell you, we absolutely did turn down vendor money to sponsor this for all the reasons I explained. That's right. Um, we had every opportunity to sponsor this out. We had um, plenty of that, uh, but we don't want that, right? We want this to be t- free of any brand, just like this podcast, free of any sort of conflict. And we want to make sure that people can come in and be completely authentic and completely open. And let me take that collective openness and go and tell the world what's really going on. That's right. So don't put off today. If President's yeah. Day comes and you haven't done this, then don't let the uh, the uh, luck of the Irish and St. Pat's Day come around because yeah. that means you're really at the tail end. Just jump in and more than that, spread the word. Yeah, and, share it. Uh, we really want to kind of get some volume, some good volume of responses from all walks of life and all walks of the globe or the planet, as you yeah. like to say. All walks of payroll. Everybody's welcome. Everybody's welcome. And again, anybody, it's not just for frontline payroll practitioners and leaders. If you're a, a, a shared services owner, a CFO, um, you know, any anyone who has a vested interest in the ongoing activities of payroll in your organization, we'd love to hear your opinion. Um, and yeah, we, we want to, and we even asked that, right? We're even asking the, the, the sort of role that people have in the organization. So we can correlate it to how those opinions are tying out, um, and people are viewing it. So that's kind of unique too. Yeah. When you're doing a sentiment analysis, oftentimes when you, when you're regular surveying, you want each, you know, you want each company, somebody to respond on behalf of each, each person or company. But when you're yeah. doing a sentiment a- analysis, you know, it's okay if more than one person provides sentiment. Yeah, totally, totally, and I, I would love to. Yeah, it's too, it's too bad we can't correlate the. Uh, we can't do this within an organization by itself. I'd love to yeah. do this, right? Go into a big company. You and I have both worked with many, many massive companies um, where there's a lot of opinions about payroll, right? I mean, we talk about. I always talk to to folks about selling payroll. You're never really selling to one persona in the organization. You're selling to an audience of the business and the HR and finance and IT. And there's a lot of folks that have to weigh in on that. I'd love to take this survey and drop it into a big organization, you know, uh, like, um, the, the conversation we had about CVS, right. Mm-hmm. Uh, that mm-hmm. was a great, yeah. yeah, he had a big, 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 uh, sizable operation. I would love to have seen all the perspectives from the internal, uh, and external stakeholders to that, to understand their perception of payroll's value. That, that would be fascinating. And maybe that's a part two wave two part of two. this. Yeah, um, for sure spinoff, but, but we got to start somewhere and this is, this is the beginning. And I hope this is something that we will all be, be able to look at and say that we anticipate being a part of that. We anticipate watching the movement. And I hope that we can start a trend of, of, of changing the trajectory for payroll and the attitude towards payroll. Awesome. Well, how about when we're thinking about the report unveil and the results and yep. making those available, I hope to be with you and helping you um, in any way I can in your yeah. big unveil coming up at the Payroll Org Congress, right? Yep. Uh, and I actually even, I, I hope to be inspired on my own uh, talk track there, which has to do with the different roles in the organization and how the various stakeholders uh, uh, impact each other and collaborate or don't collaborate. Right. Uh, yeah. And that's, that's a topic we've spoken about a lot. Anything else to know about, about May and, and, uh, the excitement that you hope to build up on the way to unveiling the results? Yeah. I, you know, I think it's important that you and I talk about the day one at, at the payroll Congress, I, the Super Bowl of payroll, as I call it, it's going to be in Nashville, uh, great city to be in. If you uh, want to spend a weekend and have a good time, I live 
here in Atlanta, so I'll be driving up, but May 7th to the 10th, I think I'm presenting my findings for this report on that Friday, if I'm not mistaken, but you and I are going to be a part of an executive uh, group, right? A, a workshop, yeah. a, a private thing. So if that's something that you're interested in, reach out, we'll see if we can get you connected. But what excites me about that, Julie, is, is we're talking about the first ever payroll executive sort of forum, if you will, ahead of, 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 of the, uh, or excuse me, an executive forum for payroll. Um, and I, and I think they're, they're inviting C-suite type, type folks into that to talk about payroll in the context of exactly what we've just talked about here around the survey. So I, I don't know what your opinion is, but that, I'm really excited to see that addition and uh, hope that that's kind of the first step towards us starting to help shape that narrative about payroll uh, towards the C-suite to, you know, to, to educate them on what's possible. Same here. And I actually think what'll be fun about that is you'll have some uh, insights already into what sentiment results are, and we'll have a very collaborative uh, session, working session with executive uh, with executives that touch payroll or are responsible for it. And, and I see that as our chance to really add some color to the story and, and get that conversation moving. So I'm excited to be doing that with you. And I, I'm just overall excited to, um, to get together with a lot of colleagues and folks in the profession uh, at that particular event. And if you're uh, from another place, don't, don't fret. We'll make sure that we get you information and you're not entirely left out. Yeah, no, absolutely. And look for us. Uh, yeah, look for the survey. Please share it. Get it out there. And um, two things I want to tease, Julie, that I am doing along this line that I think is important to share. Number one, I have been working with the uh, my, my, my payroll executive council uh, at 360 Insights. So it's a, it's a small group of payroll leaders like Sarah Chasney and, and Danny Schultz, who uh, are friends of the show. Um, and and a, Jim Cole and a few others, where we are really um, looking at how we can, as a group, uh, do something similar to what we do here on HR and Payroll 2.0, but maybe some sort of a LinkedIn Live or some sort of a hangout where we can start to share, um, you know, those sort of what I'll call payroll executive level um, uh, skills and tips and tricks, right? Like just like Anne Marie, Anne Marie is a part of this group. Um, and, and she has, uh, had some wonderful blogs on, on building your own table. We did a great podcast that's had fantastic engagement. So I'm trying to work with that crew to figure out how do we create even more, uh, complimentary education. And so I'd love to have you be a part of that as well, Julie, as we maybe host a few, uh, LinkedIn live kind of events. We haven't totally fleshed this out, but know that we're working on something like that to share with the community. Um, Absolutely. Well. Glad, yeah. glad you mentioned that. Any last, any other last things you wanted to toss out? Yeah. One more thing. I also had a conversation recently with a gentleman from the Australian Workforce Compliance Council. Um, they have a really interesting payroll education program that's going on in Australia that I want to bring uh, them onto the show and talk about. I think this is really, really unique. It's a different approach to preserving the industry. Um, and so look, look, just teasing an episode here for the future. Uh, for that one. But otherwise, find the survey. Please take it. Please share it. Um, reach out if you have any questions. If you're a vendor and you want to you wanna share it at scale, reach out. I'll help you with the communications. If you're a payroll association that hasn't uh, engaged with me yet, I would absolutely love for you to engage with it. And I'm happy to help you there as well. So tell me what I can do to get it in the hands of more and more of your members. All right. It feels like ready, set, let's go. Come on, guys, go out and take the survey. Let's do it. Thank you so much, Julie. It's uh, always, always a pleasure. Have a good one. All right. Bye.